as the opposition hit the streets today in a Bharat Band to protest against rising oil prices, fuel prices are literally on fire. Since January this year, we've already seen diesel prices up by nearly 22% and petrol prices by more than 15%. Today, they hit another high. The falling rupee and high international oil prices have only added to the crisis. Now, a big part of the problem has to do with the huge taxes that are levied by states and the centre. So, each state has its own VAT that increases our fuel bills. And here are some of the facts. The centre, this government, has hiked taxes on fuel nine times. The top five states with the highest taxes on petrol and diesel include Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh, Punjab and Telangana. So, you can see there that states ruled across party lines have high taxes on fuel. Rajasthan, however, on Sunday announced a 4% cut in VAT, so their prices have come down a bit, whereas Andhra Pradesh has also said today that fuel prices will be reduced by 2 rupees. The centre, though, has completely ruled out for the moment any cut in taxes on petrol and diesel. Let's just take a detailed look at uh, how uh, the, uh, the the states, the top five states, uh, uh, pan out as far as, as uh, taxes are concerned and the taxes they charge are concerned. As we said, it's Maharashtra at more than 39%. Remember, this is a BJP rule fate that, uh, state. This is the state uh, that has the highest tax uh, on petrol. Then you have Madhya Pradesh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, the chief minister there, again from the BJP. It's nearly 36% there. Then you have a Congress rule state, Punjab, Captain Amrinder Singh, the CM there. 35% or so is, is the VAT uh, that is being charged there. Uh, on petrol and then you have Tamil Nadu and uh, Telangana that follow again at 32 and 33 percent. Now as we mentioned earlier one of the factors that is causing fuel prices to go up is the falling rupee and we saw another new low for the rupee today as well. So today it closed at an all-time low of 72.45 that is the lowest level ever the rupee has been down more than 13 percent since January this year uh, that has strengthened the dollar and high crude prices therefore have hurt the rupee and it's all a vicious cycle that, that keeps emerging. And finally, let's just take a look at how India is actually the most expensive country in this region, in South Asia, as far as petrol and diesel are concerned. So if you look at how various uh, countries in the region stack up, India actually has the highest petrol and diesel prices. While well, in all of this, we've seen an ugly blame game. The centre says it's nothing to do with us. The opposition has hit the streets, as they did today. Uh, whereas the government says that, well, this is not because of us or any of our policies, but essentially because of the international situation. Joining us tonight, uh, we have Sachin Pilot, President of the Rajasthan Congress, joining us from Jaipur. We have Mr. Rajesh Sharma, member of the BJP, here with us. Uh, a senior economist Madan Sabnav is joining us from Mumbai tonight and Mihir Sharma, senior fellow at the Observer Research Foundation here in the studio with us. So let me, before I get the politicians in, take this to Mihir first. From the figures that we have, it appears that pretty much everybody is responsible for the high fuel prices that all of us have to bear today, whether it is states ruled by the Congress, the BJP, other parties, the centre. So therefore, this finger pointing is kind of pointless. Yeah, I think that um, the Congress should accept that um, it's, it's, it's in no state's interest to uh, lower uh, petrol taxes, particularly at a point uh, in time when um, states are a little unsure of what they're getting um, in terms of GST collection. Uh, because the centre is sitting on a pot of IGST money, that is integrated GST money that it's not handing out. So states are a little worried about their revenue and uh, petrol is the only thing that they can, besides alcohol, that they can collect off. So they're um, keeping that going. Um, the truth is, of course, that you know everyone actually should agree that high petrol pr uh, taxes are good in some ways. You know, they reduce our import bill, they um, reduce the demand for petrol and therefore our import bill. Um, they, you know, we, we argue uh, uh, in, in the UN at the uh, climate change negotiations that they serve us as carbon taxes um, and therefore, you know, we, we take the high moral ground outside the country. Um, and I can, you know, easily predict that had the Congress been in power and the BJP in the opposition, the same thing would have the happened. The same thing would have happened. But it's still politically a sensitive issue, whichever way you look at well, it. Well, that is, that is, in an I election think, year. that is, I think, an error that we have allowed to creep in, which is that um, about seven <laughs> years ago, we started the process, the Congress started the process, the Congress government started the process of essentially deregulating both uh, petrol and diesel. Um, the notion now is that it should be uh, something that is no longer dependent upon the whims of politicians. 
And the way that they should have then taken that further is to say that petrol taxes also, uh, both at the center and the state, uh, central and state levels, should be like a fixed proportion of... Rather um, than the very sort of rather than, But instead, they've been raising it, they've used it to fill a bunch of gaps. So people still believe that the price at the pump is politically determined. And that is a big mistake that we should not have allowed to continue. Madan Sabnavis, do you believe that the center and the states are actually doing enough then to, to rationalize the taxes? Uh, is, there, is there scope to actually cut more taxes by various states? Uh, you know, why is it, for instance, that it's 36% in, uh, in one particular state, 32% in another? Is there scope to rationalize that, to have a uniform rate, for example? No, I think it's true that uh, the only way we can bring down the price of uh, petrol and diesel in the market is to either cut your taxes or to start reintroducing a subsidy. Now, since nobody is really talking in terms of the subsidy, one should assume that it's going to be a tax cut which has to come from either the state or the center. Now, what we see out here is that if you're looking at petrol and diesel, what the center levies is actually a fixed kind of a rate, and therefore any kind of a reduction would directly impact the fiscal balance. Whereas if we look at the state taxes, it's a VAT, it's a tax rate, and ad valorem rate, which, uh, uh, I mean, if you use real common sense, you'll say that if the overall price goes up and uh, the rate is lowered, your tax collection can remain neutral. And I think that's the kind of an argument which the center is using, saying that the state should be lowering the tax, in which case it will be revenue neutral. But now if you look at the situation, the center doesn't want to give up on its fiscal deficit target. The states think that it's a good way of getting additional revenue when the price of crude oil goes up or the rupee depreciates. And I think that's where we have the impasse today, where uh, neither of them are willing to let go. Some states have lowered the rates. But unless it happens, I think we'll have higher inflation, higher interest rates, and probably even lower economic growth. Okay, so you believe that this has then a cascading effect on you know other crucial aspects of our economy. Rajesh Ji, I want to ask you this because this is very much both an economic question and there are those aspects that Mihir has pointed out. But you know, as we've been pointing out as well, it's very much a political issue. Can you explain this tweet that the BJP put out tonight? And I just want to bring that up on the screen because everyone on social media is talking about this tweet. If we can bring that graphic up about the truth of the hike in petroleum prices. And can we zoom in on that graphic, please? Can you explain this graphic? Can we go full frame to that graphic, please? Look at what this graphic is saying. What does this mean? I can say, uh, uh, let me take the example of, uh, not exactly the graphic. Let me no, but can you tell us what this graphic uh, means? Uh, uh, I it, it is similar. I can say you by uh. an example in Delhi. I can say in the uh, January 2009, the rate of petro uh, petrol was 40 rupees, 62 paisa. Then it came to in the year 2013, uh, 14 when we took charge, 1st of March, it came to 73.16. After uh, the, uh, today's current price is 83 rupees. So during our tenure, the price hike was 10 to 15 percent de depending on different states. And uh, during their tenure, it was 70 to 80, 85 percent. That was f of their five years v versus our four years. But can years. you explain why this graph is showing uh, petrol at more than 80 rupees a liter as being less than petrol at 71 rupees a liter. No, I haven't seen this graphic. Because I'm showing uh, it to you now. Yeah, yeah. Let's put it full frame again so that Rajesh ji can see it. Please. Huh. So there you can see. No, no. Uh, the, the, so explain this to us. I, I'm not telling about the exact graphic, but it is showing that uh, it was 71 rupees and it Haan is 13 percent increase. It, it is 13 no, percent but why, why is it showing the 80 my, at, my, at 80 my, rupees it's showing it's less than 71 so who, it, it who, 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 who is I, the head I, of I'm, the I'm, I'm do you but, know who is but, the head of the mathematics cell but, in the but party? i can say 13 percent is the increase just now i told it was it is it varies from 10 percent to 13 percent and 15 percent within the states uh, if you differ but during their tenure it was 80 percent in five years that, that, that was their growth. So what, what is the reason of their coming today? And about Bharat Bandh, I will be telling you it was sheer failure. People of India I did not support that. that very categorically. I will, I, will, I will talk about that. But Sachin Pilot, what, what are your thoughts on this graphic, on this, on this graph that the BJP has put out today? And also the point, importantly, that Mihir made, that if the Congress had been in power today at the centre, frankly, even you guys wouldn't have cut excise, you wouldn't have cut taxes on, on fuel uh, the way we are expecting now that the government should do at the centre. Now that's speculation because we are not in power and when we were uh, fighting the elections four years ago we were clearly told 
that uh, the dollar will become much weaker compared to the rupee, will get stronger, petrol diesel will be much cheaper at the gas stations. Now all this, this statistical data, macroeconomic jargon, etc. Frankly, I don't buy that because people understand that today it's almost touching 90 rupees a litre in Mumbai, petrol. And there is no reason why the government can't intervene. You can have deregulation, but the amount of cess, excise, duty, import stuff that you put in, more than half of the money that people pay at the petrol pump goes in the government's coffers. And frankly, Nidhi, this is basically a lazy government. It's easy money. Indirect tax, take money out of their pockets. Why don't they increase exports? Why don't they increase the tax base? Why don't they increase the revenue generation of other sources? Why tax the poor people who are anyway getting burdened? Diesel is used by farmers in this country. And today we have protested because we believe that the government is insensitive. I mean, if you can break down and change planning commission, you can change all regulations the last four years. Why you keep blaming the Congress party for today's gas prices? A so then are you happy, cycle, are you happy that Vasundra, are you happy that Vasundra Raje has lowered, the people in, in the country? has cut the VAT? Are you happy that Vasundra Raje has cut the VAT prices in Rajasthan? So let me... Let me let, let you into a secret. <clears throat> Vasundraji four years ago increased 4% VAT. And many people don't know this, but Rajasthan has a lot of oil. So when the uh, crude prices rise, the amount of royalty that state government gets also rises. So she's not disclosing how much money she's making by the crude oil that we export from Rajasthan because as a royalty, she gets a lot of money. So that kind of squares off at what she's giving today. So she increased 4% four years ago. She's mainly withdrawing that. She's doing no great favors to the people of Rajasthan. The people are against her, election around the corner. So she reduced by 4%. I don't think it's too little too late, but the people of India are suffering. And this agony was reflected today. No matter what you say, the Bharat Ban call was successful because the people participated. It was non-violent largely, and we wanted people to know so that... Congress stands okay. with them. When we were in government, frankly, the BJP was in the street. 65 rupees a That's litre, true. they were breaking the down homes and shouting on top of rooftops. The roles keep and getting reversed with every story. And giving us uh, macroeconomic answers. You, you, uh, you uh, guys uh, held uh, a bug uh, against... I'm unable to understand what Sachin is wanting to say. Yeah, basically, right? basically, he is saying that uh, we have not uh, created any way to generate money. Uh, we, uh, Supreme Court had <coughs> cancelled 122 spectrum, 214 coal linkages were cancelled and they were done by E-Oxon and money has come and they know it well. Second thing I can say, uh, we are the one who implemented the 14th the Finance Commission, they haven't done that, increasing 10% revenue of the state, they don't know it. GST, uh, we were just talking of rationalization, we are the one who implemented GST and they were the one who had never put petroleum uh, into GST, we were the one who amended the draft and made G uh, this okay, as part of petroleum. How, how, how will so you, you help now, now common... for it, you do it. No, no, so how, no, during how, their how will you bring fuel prices down? Do you acknowledge, do you acknowledge that, need to quote about Rajesh, their do you acknowledge that high, high fuel prices right now are burdening the middle class? Do you acknowledge that? I acknowledge that, but at the same time, I'm saying that inflation is under control below 5% during their tenure. It was 10%, so they are out. But uh, during our tenure, now the growth rate is 8% and we have uh, uh, kept it in all the four years below 5%. That is very uh, material we need to know that if, despite uh, rupee falling, despite petrol price uh, high, we have kept the inflation low. That is one of the things. Second thing, I will definitely quote about today's... Uh, Band, it was sheer public of India did not support that. So they, due to sheer frustration, they were going for violence, hooliganism, and I can say anarchy and all the way they were. Uh, I will ask Mr. Sachin. A three-year girl was killed. I can say in Jahanabad. Whether they take the responsibility of killing of that three-year-old girl who okay, was you're talking about the method hospital. of protest the, and, and and Sachin do you want to quickly answer that uh, you know just on whether the Bharat Band was the right way to approach this it should have been peaceful Nidhi with folded hands the Congress party had said that this has to be a non-violent shutdown for a few hours from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The shopkeepers, trade unions, auto rickshaw unions, everybody participated. In my state, there was not one single incident of violence. If something has happened, it's regrettable. But I don't think the BJP government can shrug off its responsibility by saying you were protesting wrong. When you protest for last five years, it's okay. When we don't have the right to speak out when people are hurting, 
people are committing suicide the farmers are dying in my state i can't even ask your time. question you, you see all the footage all the footage your and persons were taking flags of no, congress boss, party I, no and one, were no one trying can to uh, no one can accept the kind of violence the, but i am saying the principle is you were standing there, there they say is that you are peaceful but it was done in front of them so it is really hypocrisy that we are seeing out of people's pockets the people will speak when the elections come you wait and watch all the solutions will people have there. spoken since 2014 every state we are going and winning we it is a honest government who is working for the people of india and people of india do recognize that and they have given certificate by giving us win, uh, in every election post 2014 okay well that is a conversation we will have later but ajay alok as an ally of the bjp is the jdu not worried by how this is being perceived this issue of high fuel prices and frankly the falling rupee i mean you can talk about 8% gdp but when people have to go and pay 90 rupees a liter for petrol in mumbai uh, it's going to hurt they don't care then about whether the gdp is 8% or 7.8% or whatever ajay alok see nidhi this is the fact the common people does not understand gdp the common people is concerned with what, what is the price of the commodities and what is the price of petroleum and diesel and if it is hurt going to hurt them is definitely a matter of concern let's not forget very conveniently that in 2013 in congress regime the petroleum petrol also touched 83 rupees and the price they had to pay in 2014 so today after mr ravi shankar prashad statement one has to think in these terms that yes the government is considering something very serious and a good workable solution will be taken out that's what we are hopeful for so as an ally you are concerned whether you are whether concerned NDA. as an ally of the nda Everybody as an ally been. of the bjp that this is politically of sending the of wrong course message we are concerned. of course any any it's not a matter of being an ally any citizen of this country is concerned like me like you anybody is concerned that why the prices are increasing and it has to be taken under control and let's not forget whether up or nda everybody tries to increase the price because that is the source of revenue which is required for the development work that is also a fact but we have to balance all the things and today mr ravi shankar prashad has clearly said even mr dhavendra pradhan that we are trying to work out on things and we are standing with the people to go with them i do hope that in the coming days we'll have some solutions maybe from center and state all put together and uh, we'll uh, work out something and something good for the people can be achieved through that well